it's Friday, which means another weekend of vlog a days. Um, I just received an email about our jackets from the race last weekend that are available, so I stopped by the local store uh, to pick those up. So here's a finisher's jacket from last weekend's half marathon that I completed. And it looks basically like they just stuck my name over the tag of another name of somebody who registered for the race and didn't show up. And it says finisher, so if you didn't do the race, then you didn't get your jacket. So they must have had a bunch of people not show because the race was Saturday and I just got the email today. I don't know. But anyway, um, so yeah, got my jacket and we have our work Christmas party today. So we'll be doing that in a few minutes. Um, doing a race tomorrow, a 5K with a friend of mine downtown. It's a Santa themed 5K, so that'll be fun. Um, there should be three of us, so we'll see if all three of us are available. It, time frame wise, we thought the race was in the morning, it's actually in the afternoon. So anyway, we'll see what happens. It's busy and it's holiday season and afternoons don't work out for everybody. But three of us registered and we're all gonna dress like Santa and Brayden's gonna be our reindeer. So that'll be cute. Um, That's pretty much what this weekend has in store. It'll probably be a shorter vlog, which I'm sure is fine because the last couple weekends have been longer. Um, but yeah, there's not really a whole, whole lot going on this weekend. So anyway, I will see you guys throughout the next couple of days and I thank you for joining us. Braden's Mother's Day Out party was yesterday and he came home with all kinds of goodies. Uh, this is an ornament they made in his class. So we're gonna hang that on the tree. Um, and this stocking is full of like candy and toys. <laughs> this class, I'm telling you. Um, he just got a ton of, of fun little goodies and then this, I thought this cute too. He hasn't played with this yet, but I think this will be fun once he figures it out. It's the um, mess free coloring pages. So yeah, good times. Did you have fun yesterday? So it is Friday afternoon and I am home. I have Brayden. I picked him up from my father-in-law not long ago. Um, I got the mail when I got home and I received a card. I participated in uh, Fairy Tale and Fitness's uh, blogger card exchange this year. Basically, you tell them you want to participate. They give you a blogger and they give your name to another blogger. And they ask that you send just a little something with your card. Um, and they give you a date to do it by. I believe it's the 18th. So... I received a card from Heather. Hi, what's up? Can you say hi? You say hello. Oh, hi. Everybody wants to say hi. <laughs> anyway, um, I received my card from Heather. Uh, Heather Spin at blogs. I'm sorry. It's Heather Spin dot blogspot.com. We've been following each other for a good couple years now. Um, and she was so sweet. She sent me this beautiful bracelet that she made. And she also sent a um, Disney gift card for me and a Toys R Us gift card for Brayden. That was so nice. Um, but anyway, keep an eye out for that next year if you're interested. I've done it um, the last three years for sure. And I've always had awesome bloggers to uh, correspond with and send cards to. So now I'm going to work on my own personal Christmas cards. Um, at, well, maybe not at this moment. Actually, before it gets dark, Brayden and I are going to go He's playing in the dog's water bowl. Hey, are you supposed to do that? Hey, are you supposed to be doing that? <laughs> oh yeah, that's so funny, huh? That's so funny, you're so crazy. Anyway, we're gonna try and go for a run before it gets too dark. Um, gonna try and do a back-to-back -back this weekend, so hopefully we'll see how that goes. I don't wanna put too much pressure on my shelf for next weekend because it is Christmas weekend and I have a lot going on. So this weekend is pretty low key. Um, only problem is my husband is working so I'm gonna have to have Brayden pretty much with me the whole time, which isn't a huge deal, but when you're trying to do a log run with the stroller, yeah. So anyway, we're gonna go for a quick, maybe three or four mile run right now and uh, see how that goes, hopefully before it gets dark. My boss told everybody that he was giving them a lump of coal for Christmas. Um, this is actually a rock that you can hide your house key in or a key or whatever in. Um, and it, he had a little gift tucked inside. But when we first opened it, he told us we were all getting coal for Christmas, which I thought was pretty funny. So a little fun thing. I was able to use my bag from Mickey's mystery box that I received last weekend uh, to bring all my stuff for our Christmas party today at work. So that was cool. And it's actually a really decently um, made bag. It's not you know, cheap or um, like flimsy. It's, it's actually pretty thick and strong. So that was fun. I love when random gifts are, or random things are useful. I decided that I probably should break in another pair of shoes 
for Dopey's Challenge since I'm going to travel with two pair for the race weekend just in case it's rainy one day. Um, and I didn't have another pair broken in. So that's what I'm going to wear. Or that's what I'm going to do this weekend. My neighbors are probably gonna think I'm crazy, but you know what? When else can you dress festive in Santa? Not very often, so I'm going to go. <laughs> These are Mizuno Wave Inspires. Um, I asked for a new pair every year for Christmas. And then I usually purchase another pair sometime during the year. So I had an extra box hanging out in my closet just waiting on me to break them in. So one of my major goals this weekend is to get our Christmas cards mailed. I created these and I'm so excited with the way they turned out. I'm not a big like computer graphic programmer type person, but I love the way that they came out. The uh, Joy to the World series little tagline there was my husband's idea, which we thought was really cute. And uh, yeah, I'm super excited the way these turned out. So I'm gonna get them mailed out this weekend and hopefully I'll get them all mailed. There are Christmas cards from Shutterfly every year and for some reason, it's happened the last couple years, I never order enough. I don't know why, but I always order about 50 and it's never enough. So last night I was playing around on walgreens.com. I'm not a huge fan of Walgreens photo printing, but they can do cards. They can do them within the same day and they do front and back and I was able to upload my own design. That was really neat and I found a coupon code. Uh, there was no way I was gonna be able to order from Shutterfly and have them in in time to mail. So I just went on ahead with Walgreens and I think they turned out really nice. I'm actually kind of impressed. I told the guy when I picked them up, I looked at them first and I was like, wow, these are impressive. And he kind of laughed at me, but I had never done um, cards like this where front and back are printed on from Walgreens. And yeah, there you go. There's a little tip. You can do same day printing on cards and invitations at Walgreens. Morning. There are only nine days until Christmas. We're officially in the single digits. It's December 16th. Uh, Brayden is awake. Hi, thank you. And we're about to eat breakfast. Over the weekend, we're gonna try to make it through as many of these Christmas um, movies as possible. I know we're not gonna see them all, but you know, like Mickey's Christmas Carol, the important ones. This is my Christmas movie bin. So that's what we're starting with. Uh, Mickey saves Santa from Mickey Mouse Clubhouse because it's time to eat breakfast and I want Brayden to be engaged with breakfast. Oh boy, who is that? Oh yeah, yay. Still as, in, still as intent as he was as his infant on Mickey. Loves it. Good hey, Mickey. Hey buddy, you wanna help me make coffee? Yeah? Okay, to do. It's really funny. Okay, take this one. No, it doesn't go in there. Open it up. There you go. Nope, not that one today. We're gonna do this one today. Good job. Here is our shirt for the race. Both of them look exactly the same. I got the idea on Pinterest for a super easy Santa costume. I don't know why they didn't go with the white buttons. After I finished it all, I was thinking about it, but oh well. Um, this was kind of the idea that they went with, except theirs was vinyl. This is felt. I already had this felt. I already had this felt from my Captain Hook costume I used for Tinkerbell, and already had the belt also from my Captain Hook costume. So. I basically just cut circles out of felt and hand stitched them on. It took me maybe five minutes and I hot glued the belt to the, I mean the, the buckle to the belt. So this is the idea behind Kim and I, uh, Kim and mine, mine and Kim's, yeah, our costumes. And Brayden is going to be a reindeer. Like I said, I got this idea on Pinterest for a super easy Santa costume and it took me maybe 10 minutes to do both of them. It was really fast. When you live in the South and it hardly ever snows, you make your own. <laughs> is that fun? You wanna slide? I'm about to make the world's most royal mess, but that's okay, it's on me and it's fun. Whee! <laughs> we're putting it on the slide and then we're putting it back in the bag because it's so much fun. Okay. I'm watching Mickey's Christmas Carol while Brayden naps and I just ate some chili for lunch. Now I'm gonna see if I can find a few more pieces I need for this afternoon's 5K. And then if I have time, I might wrap some more presents or do something else. 
for Christmas. I have just like a few more presents to wrap and just a few extra things to do. It won't take me too, too long. That's what's up for now. We made it to the race and I have a reindeer, although I don't know that he's gonna keep this on his head. <laughs> no, I'm just waiting on my friend Kim to get here. You're gonna have your bib in there and your safety pins. Um, so make sure to have that. Um, y'all might already know, I don't know if y'all know or not, but this race is not timed, so feel free to walk, jog, do whatever you gotta do. I know y'all are gonna- Okay, we're at the race. We're like half a mile in. We've got a reindeer, Santa one, Santa two, <laughs> Santa three, maybe. There we go, Santa three. Yeah, there's lots of Santas here. Beautiful day. This is a good route, just I don't like that we have to do it twice. There's a group of Marines doing this race too. And coming in first place, number 18. Give him a hand. The race is over, and now we're at the little boardwalk to see the birds. My grandma used to take us here to feed the ducks a long time ago, so I thought, oh my goodness, let me take Brayden to see, because he's never been here before. He's like amazed by all these birds. <laughs> what do you see, bud? Huh? Do you see the birds? What do you see? <laughs> That's so cool. drive through line at Starbucks was ridiculously long so I instead did the mobile online ordering and picked up my drink within maybe five minutes. I sat in my car and cleaned out my purse <laughs> and talked to my brother on the phone while I waited and then I went in and it was perfect timing. In our race bags was a magnet, our race number, bib, uh, these bracelets, a pin, a sticker, a new patch, and our race shirt. And as you can see, this race did benefit Toys for Tots, so that was super fun. Brayden's Astros Buddies gear came in the mail today. He got a book sack, and uh, he gets four game tickets, which he's too um, young to need tickets anyway. A pair of socks, a lanyard, a hat, and a little, um, they call this their membership badge. But I thought this hat was cute. Future draft pick. Are you an Astros Buddy? Yeah. So I spent the remainder of my Saturday evening wrapping gifts in the living room while watching Hallmark movies. Madeline knows there's something in there for her, so she's trying to find it. Hey! No ma'am! Santa hasn't come yet. But anyway, these are for our Wednesday night classes. We're doing our awards and class parties on Wednesday night, and I have middle school and high school, so I have a gift for each of them. I also have a gift for each of our teachers, and we do a white elephant gift exchange in my class, so that's what some of these are for. So, yeah, I think I'm going to go to sleep now. Do you want more? <laughs> day today has been. It's already afternoon. Um, it's like two o'clock in the afternoon. Uh, we went to church, although we didn't get there until incredibly late because Brayden decided last night that he wanted to be awake from about 3.15 to about 5.30 this morning. It was insane. So we did go to church, but we woke up really late. Um, I usually don't set my alarms on Sundays because Brayden wakes me up usually about 7.30 or 8 o'clock. Well, my internal clock usually wakes me up about that time also but um anyway he usually wakes up about between 7 30 and 8 so he did not this morning which means I did not this morning um because I hardly got any sleep last night so we slept really late I haven't slept that late in a long time 
We made it to church and then afterwards we went to eat dinner with our lunch with my dad. Everybody else is working. And then we've been running a few errands here and there afterwards. We went to Starbucks again because I forgot yesterday I needed to pick up a gift card. And then I just went to Walmart. You can see I'm playing with the mirror. Oh, my shoes and socks are gone. Awesome. Um, we went to Walmart to pick up a few things for our Wednesday night church class Christmas party. So now I'm headed home. I have one more Christmas card to mail. I have a few other things to put together. Hopefully you will take a nap. It's already three, so. And he said he slept really late, so I don't know. We'll see what happens. Hopefully he'll take a nap, but I don't know. It's just been a kind of a crazy, you know, one of those like days where you know things are gonna go this way and they don't go this way. That's how today has been, but that's okay. Still had a good day, so now I'm headed home. Here's the outfit I wore to church this morning. My sister-in-law gave this dress uh, top to me. I paired it with uh, black leggings and black boots and a long necklace. And I really like this dress. The lace at the bottom dresses it up just enough so it's perfect for Christmas time. So thank you to my sister-in-law for the outfit because uh, I really like it. It's really cute. This is the outfit Brayden had on for church this morning. I just thought this shirt is too cute. My fellow Disney fans will appreciate it. I found this at Target, same place I found the Grinch shirt that he had on last weekend. Isn't that just too cute? Hey! It came with a little red bow tie like the Grinch one, but you know, he wore the red bow tie last week, so I didn't do the red bow tie again. And then I just paired it with a pair of khaki pants. I finally got Brayden down for his nap, and now I'm going to work on making these Santa sleighs. This is the idea. It came off of Pinterest. Instead of buying a Russell, Russell Stover, oops. Instead of buying a Russell Stover Santa, I purchased these Hershey's uh, milk chocolate things. I'm just gonna kind of stand them up, I think, and kind of lean them up against the little pieces of candy on the back. So these are gonna be for Jason's nephews who are coming in from Colorado, and then I'm going to attach an iTunes gift card to them as well. And I forgot to mention, if you're looking for a good devotional to read during the holiday season, during Christmas, this is an awesome one. It's called The Greatest Gift by Ann Voskamp, and it starts December 1st. I believe it goes through the 25th, but every day has a scripture and a devotional reading attached to it, and I love this book. I've read it, uh, this is two years now, so it's a really good one if you're you're looking for one to read during the holiday season. I just realized that it's Pixie's birthday. Happy birthday. She is 12. You are 12 years old. Can I have a high five for your birthday? Yeah. Happy birthday. I love you. This was my first baby. All right. The Santa sleighs are complete. I really like the way they turned out. I think they're really cute. I wrapped the iTunes gift card on the back and just used a little bit of red ribbon to tie it off. And now I need name tags or gift tags for each one and they will be all done. We're making lists of everything that we need for Christmas. I have my grandma's recipes um, that I like to go through because she used to make candy every year for friends and family. So I'm kind of digging through that. I love the things in her handwriting. It's fun. And we're making up a list so we're not shopping on Christmas Eve because that sounds like madness to me. Well, that's it for another weekend of vlog-a-days. I can't believe we're already this four or five weeks into the holiday season. Um, we only have two weekends left um, before the new year. So sad times, it's flying by so fast. But anyway, thank you for joining us this weekend. Next weekend is Christmas weekend, although we don't have our family festivities planned until the midweek um, after Christmas anyway. But I'll still take you along. We still have lots of fun things planned next weekend. And I hope you have a great one. And we'll see you later. Merry Christmas. Because I probably won't see you until after Christmas. So yeah. I hope you have a great Christmas with your families and friends. And uh, we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.